from Houston, Texas. Extracting the signal from the noise, it's the Cube. Covering Grace Hopper Celebration of Women in Computing. Now your host, Jeff Frick. Welcome back everybody, Jeff Rick here with theCUBE. We are live in Houston, Texas at the Grace Hopper Celebration of Women in Computing 2015. It's a tremendous conference, put it on your calendar, it's sold out in a week, so make sure you sign up for the newsletter so you get the notification when they open up registration this year. And we're really psyched to be joined by our next guest, Camilla Ashuti, who we interviewed at the Women Division Awards earlier this year, you won the Student of uh, Vision, so welcome back, Camilla. Yeah, it's really nice to see you again. Absolutely, so you won the award that was, I'm trying to remember what month that was, earlier this year, like May. in May. Yeah. So how's your life changed since winning that award? I'm at Masters, I hope to finish into the half of the next year. Uh, but I think after the, the award, a lot of things happened because of the media that award uh, brought to Latina in computing right. issues. So I was in, like, I, I can estimate like 10 magazines talking about the award and the whole thing about women in computing. So it was awesome, like a huge opportunity to start talking and leading this movement in my country and in whole Latin America. So, so there's so much opportunity in front of you. Yeah. Where, where, do you, where are you going to go? You got to finish your master's obviously. Yeah. But what are you thinking? Are you going to go to a big company? Are you going to start your own thing? It, it, it amazes me. We've talked to a number of the, of the other uh, younger gals on the board. I mean, you're just phenomenal phenomenal young women with yeah. tremendous opportunity in front of you. We are starting our own company, but I don't know if the name is company. I really want to start a movement, like try to put computer science in remote areas, mainly in Brazil. We are trying to structure this whole program to teach, I don't know, kids in Amazon, Amazon jungle, what CS and give them the opportunity about like, let's work remote, let's build the whole structure that you need, like Wi-Fi computers, let's change the world together. So I don't know if this is a company or if this is a movement. Yeah, or a foundation, or it could yeah, be a non -profit. I'm trying to do this. I, I really want to get my masters and put everything like on live. Like I really want to make it a real thing and not just a paper, a piece of paper. Right. So I'm planning, and we already started this movement. It's called Ponte 21. It's already running in Brazil and we want to grow, yeah. So hopefully you can use some of the publicity to reach out to, you know, basically totally. you got to do fundraising. At the end of the day, you got to be yeah. good at fundraising so you can yeah. go out and supply the computer, supply the internet connectivity, all those types of things. Yeah, and we are living a hard moment in Brazil. I think in whole Latin America, but in Brazil we are living a huge crisis. Uh, so I think technology is the way for the whole population uh, use this moment to think and rethink about the world and the opportunities. And we really want to show to the young kids CS, technology, innovation, entrepreneurship as a way as a way to change their lives, the whole community. We don't want to just teach them, bring them to the United States and okay, now stay here and make money here and like, no. We want to put them there and make them think about the community, like put money there. Uh, for example, a kid in Amazon jungle, uh, that it's the, a really remote area. Right. Uh, they have smartphones, they have Wi-Fi connection, but they have no idea how they can start like building it. So if we give this chance, we can improve their income. Like they earn $10 per week. If we give like a simple course, like just basic knowledge about CS, they can earn like $10 per hour, that it's huge. Yeah. It's like, it's just math, yes, like we changer, need to right? distribute. Total yeah. game changer. So let's yeah. go back to your story, and how did you get involved in CS? Uh, my father was, uh, is a computer programmer, um, and then I just like, grow up with this whole environment, and okay, let's change the world. We have this special language that solves problems, so let's try, <laughs> and I, I joined this, like amazing word of 
programming language and computing and data and innovation. So. And then you got involved with Anita Borg. So you won the award, you did, went through the process. So you know, what's your advice to other young, young girls out there, girls in college? How should they get involved? What's the opportunity? What are the steps they need to do? How is it, why is it going to change, change your world? I think they need to speak. Like, I know it's hard, like, to be the only girl and need to speak all the time about this. It's not a his mission. But if not then, who? Like, uh, it's the only option. So I think they need to speak. Uh, Anita Borg is giving a huge opportunity for them. Like, they just need to record a video, one to three minutes and speak like it's not about the whole production and like it's just about like just turn on your webcam and start talking <laughs> about what you believe and I did exactly this and now I'm here like in the middle of the conference one year ago I was just uh, walking in the poster session and now I'm here like having this opportunity to talk and speak about my story and give other girls this opportunity so my advice is speak. Now, you're obviously super passionate. I just, you know, we love your energy. We got to talk to you last year, or earlier this year. What about for girls that don't necessarily have the, just kind of have the flair that, you know, that are maybe quiet? What do you tell, what do you tell people like that? I think you need to find your purpose. Like, I'm really a luck, I'm a luck pe person because I found my purpose really early. Like. When I was 18, I discovered that I want to change the world with technology, so I'm a luck person. But I think everybody has a passion. Like, you just need to think about it, and I'm sure you are going to discover, like, what you love, and you are not working one single day in your life because you are just, like, living. I, I'm just living and enjoying this whole journey. I'm not like my, like, like the previous generation that just want to work, make money, and then enjoy the life. Right. I really want to enjoy the whole journey, and I think I, I'm, I'm doing this. I'm, it's exactly what I'm doing. That's great. So you said, was last year your first year at Grace Hopper? Yeah. So give your perspective on, you know, what that was like. And then now you've, you know, now you're part of it. I mean, now you're, you know, you're on the, you're on the board with all the other past winners. And, and now what your impression is coming into it this year? Bigger, bolder, and then, you know, kind of with a little bit more of a formal position. Yeah, my impression is huge. Like, come on. It's unbelievable. Like yesterday during the keynote, it was like full of wonderful women together. Like the energy was unbelievable, like unbelievable. So in my, my perspective is like, it's huge. And we need to start the movement. Like last year, it was more about like, I was watching the whole thing. And after that, now I'm part of this. Now I want to make the AB dot local in Brazil, I want to make it big, I want to make like, I don't know, a comité to bring all Brazilian girls to Grace Hooper. I think it's a process. Like, so this year, uh, it's tot it, it was totally different. Like we have this last day, but the first two days I was, I was, I was feeling that I was part of it. So it was amazing. And I think it's a process, like the first keynote, I can't remember the name, but uh, she said like 10 years, I was just an attendee and now I'm a keynote speaker. So wait for me in 10 years, I'm going to be a keynote speaker. <laughs> I don't think it's going to take 10 years. I don't, I'm thinking more like two or three maybe. Okay, so you're going to finish school. How long do you finish school? Six, the masters, just yeah. six months. Six months. I hope. Okay, and then we're going to start looking for the next thing. We're going to keep an yeah, eye. Yeah. We probably won't have to look that hard. I'm sure we'll, we'll hear <laughs> without having to look that hard. Yeah. All right, Camilla. Well, thanks again for stopping by. Really appreciate it again. Congratulations on winning the award. I'm, yeah. I'm really glad it continues to open more doors for you and you continue on this process. And again, with your enthusiasm and, and energy and smarts, obviously, I think the world is your oyster. Really thanks for stopping by. Yeah, thank you so much for this opportunity. Let's join the movement. Let's change the world all together because it's just with 
more people that we can definitely change the world. Awesome, thank well thank you. So I'm Jeff Frick, just a reminder, we now have podcasts, which we're pretty excited about. We usually put up the woman of the week, we put up the guest of the week, go to siliconangle.tv, check under the feature section, woman of the week, uh, guest of the week, and enjoy the podcast, or you can find it on SoundCloud or Apple iTunes. I'm Jeff Frick, we're at Grace Hopper Celebration of Women in Computing. We'll be right back after this short break.